Good day, friends. The other day I showed you how to create an epic boat hull in SketchUp, and then I took it and I moved it to Tinkercad as an STL and brought it in and built it. And you might be wondering why not just build the whole thing in SketchUp. And let me show you why. So when you build things, they need to be manifold in order to 3D print them properly. And when working with middle schoolers, I have just found Tinkercad to be way more in their wheelhouse as designers. So watch this process right here. I'm going to add a smokestack to my ship's roof. I'm going to click on the circle choice. I'm going to double click to get in the item. And now when I choose that circle, remember it's a click and release program, I can draw, I'm going to choose my size, I'm going to push pull, I'm going to lift it up, and I'm great at this moment, but if I want to create another ring, there's a lot of hassle uh, that I don't have to deal with in SketchUp. Uh, there are cool things like real easily, I can use my offset tool to cut out my chimney or my smokestack so you can see I can push pull and pull that down but if I want to do another ring I've got to do some trickeration and for my students using Tinkercad it's as simple as this they bring in their cylinder they drop it down I've taught them to hold down shift to shrink it uh, you'll notice both of my roofs were slanted and if you want your chimney to be straight up you could build it down here on the ground and then lift it to the height you want. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it across. All I want to do is pull it up so that it's at the place I want. And then I could nudge it into place. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate. Make the second one a hole. Hold down Shift and shrink it all just a couple chunks. And then I'm going to grab those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes. And I'm going to align them centered centered and to the top and I can cut out my nifty little smokestack when I group this it is manifold and ready to work and that's where things get hairy uh, in SketchUp uh, objects are not necessarily manifold instantly adding a base to build on not necessarily able to make that manifold that do some real tricky stuff if you want this chimney to be slanted like the boat is you simply do the same steps, but you add a work plane to your slanted roof, and then when you bring out your chimney, it's immediately in the right spot. So that is why I switched from SketchUp to Tinkercad. Every program has their abilities that you need to learn to master, and most anything, even in SketchUp, if you work hard enough, you'll be able to find all the cool tricks that make it simple. But for me, working with middle schoolers and people that are beginning, I find this the coolest way to quickly build and then also get epic results. So hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have fun building a better boat and make some epic things. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. <music>